Just, yeah, how would you define yourself? Yeah, how would you define yourself is a better way to put it. I'm French. <laughs> I'm someone who, who's been focusing on men's grooming from the very first time. The funny part actually was very early. People were like, hey, why don't you cut women's hair? There is more money. If you don't think about money, you actually have more fun and you make money at the very end of it. How did I become an authority? <laughs> Thank you for actually saying it. <laughs> the people who come to see me every day for the haircut made me the authority. So that's maybe, that's their fault, not my fault. So it takes a lot of practice and work and learning and you know, it does, doesn't happen like this. I started to work in this industry when I was about 14 and a half, 15 years old and never stopped since, a little bit for drumming, but that's another conversation. The first person who, who actually taught me hair, I was extremely lucky to meet this person because as far as we were in the countryside, he was just the most amazing person I've seen getting hair. Um, thanks to the stars. It's an art or it's a skill or craft. You learn a lot just by watching. What you see every day is what's going to eventually encourage you, excite you, or bring you more creativity or new ideas. When I don't know someone's hair, uh, I really, really love um, play with texture before I'm going to touch the length because I can, it gives me room for error because as good as we can be, there is always a surprise somewhere. It's like a sculpture. When you have a big piece of clay, before you're going to give the, the final finish of that piece of clay, you're gonna have to remove the extra first, just to see the shape appear to your eyes. Then the razor gets in the move and start to feel more comfortable because then you have to adjust your pressure, your strokes, and you finally, after just touching and trying and understanding how the hair works, you actually having the haircut coming into shape. Then after there is the blow dry situation. The blow dry helps me to see again how the hair reacts. I try to blow dry just to dry, not so much to style. And then we have, we analyze, we see what's going on and we go more in. But I will say the first phase is very academic, at least for me. And then after when you start to have a good visual of how the haircut should be, then you start to bring yourself into it. There is definitely two products that everyone should have all the time. It's a shampoo and a conditioner. It's like your skin, it's like your face. You have to react with the seasons and uh, your shampoos and your conditioner are there to do that job. Styling product, paste, gel, cream, definitely. It's like a palette, you know, like a painter. Each of them will transform or reinforce or enhance what your haircut is supposed to be like. Those I think are the five products we should all have in a way. Is there such a thing as the perfect haircut? haircut. Well, the perfect haircut is the haircut Chris just had it. <laughs> uh, you know, seriously, look at how he left. I mean, I, I maybe, I don't think he was faking it. I think he left with the perfect haircut, so... What's the number one haircut no-no? Something that men should never do. Come over. How often should a man get his hair cut? <coughs> yeah. okay, Every day. <laughs> I have to say that. It's also a business, you know. <laughs>